Hello everyone, MMC fan here, and recently our worst fears were recognised. Eagle Moss ended their Marvel movie collection. We predicted that this would happen, they picked some really bad figures towards the end, and evidently not selling very well either. So it's really sad, it had a lot of potential, but they've decided to go in a different direction. Which now presents collectors with a question, what to do now? And I've had quite a lot of people ask me what I would recommend. And there's loads of things you can do. I mean, Marvel is the most popular property on the planet. There's plenty of merch you can be buying, but I narrowed it down to four of the best things that you can now do uh, to expand your Marvel collection, um, or not, as you'll see. And yeah, I'm just going to give you my recommendation of what I am going to be planning to do. So the first thing I can recommend is the Custom Marvel Movie Collection by Luis Cantos. Now you'll have heard me talk about him before if you're a regular on this channel. He creates custom figurines to perfectly fit him to your Marvel Movie Collection. So they ha come on the exact same bases as the Eagle Moss ones. They are in the exact same scale, 116. They are the same material, they're uh, metallic resin, and they are hand-painted. So essentially, aside from an additional level of quality and some really good character choices, they are the same as the Eagle Moss ones, so these ones are going to fit seamlessly into your collection and are the absolute best thing you can add. There aren't really many downsides, they, they are obviously very expensive and this is due to the exclusivity, you are commissioning a model maker to make you something and then send it to you, so they are very very expensive. Um, and he is just one guy, and so, so you do have to be patient for your order to arrive sometimes. But on the whole, this is the best thing you can do for your collection, is to get your figures from Luis, because they will fit in brilliantly. Option number two is uh, go switching to Marvel Legends by Hasbro. So I'm sure you'll have seen these in shops. These are not at the same scale as the Marvel Movie Collection, so you can't display them like directly next to it. They are a little bit bigger. However, uh, they are fantastic. Hasbro has a great relationship with Marvel, so the main characters from pretty much every TV show and every movie are, are pretty much guaranteed. Even Sony films, Venom got a release for example, and all of the Spider-Man characters got releases as well. All of the likenesses are either good, great or excellent, especially now. I know technology has moved on a lot with getting the actor likenesses recently. Uh, they all look fantastic now. 95% of the time, all the examples of a figure will look exactly the same. So I've picked up a figure in a shop and then ordered it online and they've looked identical. Because they're not painted by hand, you don't have to worry that you're going to get a bad paint job. They come with additional accessories, swappable hands, swappable heads, they're completely posable. And they're only a little bit more expensive than Eagle Moss because they haven't gone up in price as quickly as Eagle Moss has. And the other thing I really like about them is... No figure is totally impossible to find, but different figures appear at different shops and that brings back the thrill of the hunt, which we haven't felt as figurine collectors from Eagle Moss in quite some time. It used to go into WH Smith's and see, do they have the Marvel Movie Collection figures, do they have this figure, and it was so exciting and that hasn't been the case for such a long time, but with these ones, HMV, there are certain ones go there, certain ones go to Amazon, certain ones go to Forbidden Planet, and each one has a different... Uh, kind of lineup of figures to buy, uh, which makes it really exciting to find the one that you're after. The only downsides are that they are the larger scale, so they might not fit in perfectly, uh, and you might not want them to be posable with the posable joints, but I've found that's actually really fun. Another option is the Disney Store. I've seen a few people want to go down this route. Essentially, every time an MCU film comes out, uh, the Disney Store releases a figurine set with the main cast of the film, the main heroes and the main villains. Uh, again, these aren't the same scale. They are smaller, but they are really good value. So you're talking, for the price of maybe two Eagle Moss figures, you can get the entire cast of a film. Um, sometimes less than that. I mean, at the time of recording this, the Shang-Chi set, for example, is less than a fiver because it's in a sale, but that won't always be the case. These ones, they are quite cheap uh, in terms of look as well. Um, I, I don't know if they're hand-painted or printed or what they are, but they all look different. Um, so you've got to try and find one where all of the characters look normal and they're so small that you just don't get the actor likenesses. I mean, look at this Angelina Jolie. Yeah, so they'd look good on your shelf from a distance, but you wouldn't want them up close and they are, you know, a cheap plastic. So they're not a perfect uh, replacement, but a lot of people have found them a nice budget alternative so they can get those new movies on their shelves. And then my fourth suggestion is that you just stop. You sit there like Thanos at the end of Infinity War and you look at your collection and you watch the sunset and you go, you know what, I've enjoyed myself, but that's done, that's that. It's really good value because it's free and there's no hassle from Eagle Moss, there's no waiting for deliveries, there's no spending money, there's none of that. You can just enjoy the collection that you have. 
I'm not going to be doing this because this is my hobby. This is what I do. So of course I'm going to switch to somewhere else. But for a lot of collectors, uh, the relationship with Eagle Moss wasn't actually that great. And I think they might be relieved that it's over. So this is always an option. I have two recommendations here. If you have big bucks, if you've got the big budget, if you, you've got a lot of income to spend on these figurines and you want them to be their absolute best, you have to buy yours from Louise. The custom Marvel movie collection is stunning. They are the same scale and the same style and they'll fit straight in and he's as i say it's great to support him because this is this is what he does as a job and it is awesome however not everyone will have the budget you know 75 pounds or more per figurine i understand that so there is a cheaper option and for that i would recommend marvel legends the, I'm actually doing both of these myself. Luis is still sending me figurines to review and I'm loving those. I've got more reviews of those coming up very soon. But I'm also buying some Marvel Legends when they pop up in sales and things. And I've been reviewing those over on Instagram and they are honestly, they've, so both Luis and Marvel Legends have surpassed my expectations. They are awesome. Um, and I no longer feel sad about the Marvel movie collection being over because I've got these new stuff to look forward to. So I would highly recommend both of these. So there you have it. Let me know down in the comments what your plan is. Are you done now? Is this no more collecting for you? Or are you going to pick one of these uh, new lines or brands and get some of those in your collection as well? Let me know. I'd love to hear which direction people are going. I'll be back with another video very soon. Keep on collecting.